Hello. Hello and welcome everyone. Yeah, today we are going to take a look at the haunted mansion. I rebuilt a Phantom Manor of Disneyland Paris. But yeah, we are going to take a look at the making of first. I think I'll keep it short, but uh, there are a few things I want to explain during this. So just sit back and enjoy. So it took me roughly around uh, one hour to get the floor plan done. I had some photos to work with. But the problem is, you never saw the house from behind or from the top. So I had to guess the dimensions of the house. And that's why you see me here struggling a bit. Always uh, removing and re-adding some blocks. So you just have to imagine that each block in the game is like uh, one meter long or like three feet. This way you'll just take a look at the photo and try to imagine how many blocks you need for the width and the height. After I lay down the floor plan, I'm going to check uh, which blocks kind of combine well together. Because when you create a wall that's only made out of one type of block, it looks kind of boring. So you need to have some kind of differentiation between uh, the different yeah, areas of the wall. I always like to give the first levels of the wall a different look. So it kind of blends together with the floor. Then normally I also like to look at some kind of block which I'll take for between the different floors of the house. Like as you saw in my mansion build. There I took some, some castle blocks and put them between the floors so it makes some sense uh, from the outside. That you also can see where the different floors start and end. And it also makes the wall a bit more interesting. So, and then I just completed the whole outside walls and facade. Facade? Ah, facade. The whole outside facade of the house, also the roof. And after that I was left with an empty house. So normally I uh, try to make the rooms at the same time as I do the walls. But this time I only had some pictures to work with from the outside, so I only finished the outside first. Also uh, for the picture contest, only the outside is important. Then I just went along with the shape of the house and tried to fill it with some rooms that made logical sense. So like a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, some stairs leading up. Then a little bathroom with a blood bath, then a little relaxing area and a bedroom. And then you also have, of course, the attic. Yeah, the reason why I did this build is because my 101 rooms blueprint uh, kind of took off in the haunted house contest. And I'm like, ah, well, yeah, maybe you could consider some rooms a haunted house. But that's nothing you could use with a clear conscience to, to win a contest. Because right now I'm at place number two. And if I win place number two, I want to have something in the contest that really resembles a haunted house. That's why I did this. So, but before we start the tour, there are a few things I want to talk about. Uh, because a bit has happened in the last couple of days. Uh, some of you may know Wood from Beat'em Ups. He also got a YouTube channel and he's kind of my favorite YouTuber. And he uh, replied to me on Twitter. And also in his latest video, you can see how he uses my blueprint. So now that we're in the end game, as I said, it's, it's kind of actually easier to compare this to Minecraft because the, the story is done. So now I'm left with the, the, the key mechanic of the game, which is the crafting. Over here in this area, I, I am doing some work, as you can clearly see. There is a lot to this game that I am still discovering, um, and one of the most recent discoveries I made, that if you go to the online, you can actually look at a bunch of pictures of things that other people have made and posted, and you can go and actually visit their islands. And I didn't realize this. You can go, like, someone could come to my island right now and explore it and get ideas. And there's a tool called the Magic Pen, where you can copy someone else's blueprint, and your villagers, will actually come and help you build it, which is really awesome and really handy. It's taken them a long time though, because this blueprint is huge. Now, funny enough... Yeah, you didn't want to see me how I reacted when I saw that. <laughs> and the haunted house build is now also inside the contest. Let's see. I think on spot number nine. Yes, there it is. So maybe you still want to vote for it. And also, I went to the Gamescom yesterday. 
and there I met my first fan in, in real life. So a little shout out to Sabertooth, it's his online name, he told me. And uh, yeah, I was a bit starstruck I, I, uh, and, also, and also a bit shocked because I didn't expect to uh, see someone recognize me there. So I didn't really know what to say, but uh, we got a nice photo together. But enough of that. Now we want to take a look at the house. So you go over the fields, climb up the stairs, and there you'll be greeted with some, uh, yeah, some dead trees, dead plants. I mean, yeah, it kind of fits the setting of a haunted house. Let me just go up the stairs, and I also added some things later, like this hanging pumpkin from a chain. Also kind of creepy and fits the Halloween style. Yeah, I still don't get why they choose the Halloween theme in the midst of summer. I mean, in September or October I would have understand it, but now, pfft. And here you can see what I did with the little roof in front of the house. Gave it some more detail inside. Combined the shelf pieces with the fence posts. And here you can see the from the Japanese DLC pack. I used them. those are some kind of windows. I put on a roof, so it looks like the railing of the house, of the front porch. And you can also walk around, enter from the back. So let's go up. Here we are at the second floor. Now we are on the roof. Also got a few kidneys, like the original had. Yeah. And here you can see what it looks like. So the back wall is completely empty, no windows, nothing. But we also have this other wall, there we can take a little look. I also added some details, like this water pipe running down. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with the result. I don't like uh, the color of the windows, but you only had like gray or green. The original had like pastel red or pinkish windows. And for the black and white photo, the green one looked a lot better than the white ones. I removed them all in the end and replaced them with the green ones. So let's enter. So the inside is not uh, what I'm the most proud of, you would say. But at least it's got a bit of a haunted house vibe. And here I'm getting flashbacks of Mario 64. I'm still scared of those pianos. Whoa. Don't eat me, don't eat me. Here we got the dining room. And the kitchen. Uh, a bit of work went into the kitchen. So here you have some kind of surgery table with a wooden lock and a katana. Uh, don't know what you would use it for, but maybe the blood uh, splatters on the floor <laughs> indicates it. <laughs> some chains. Of course, this uh, delicious looking mountain of uh, meat. Uh, <laughs> Some recipe books, which kind of look like folians, like magical folians, maybe. Mm. Cooking area. Some more chains. And pipes leading up everywhere. And maybe you want to stick your head through there. Maybe someone, something will land <laughs> in this washed up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a horror house. It's a horror house. So it needs to be a bit uh, creepy. <laughs> and disgusting. 
Here are the stairs leading up. We are greeted with some mysterious looking girl. Hmm, I believe her eyes are following me. Hmm. Hmm, creepy. And here you have a bloodbath. With some kind of uh, satanic ritual. Like the candles form a pentagram. Also everything is uh, dyed black. So it would also fit the, the Adams family maybe. Ah, and you can also go outside here. Yeah, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the windows, but what else can you do? Now we go to the bedroom. And here I switched off the light. Because it was far too bright with the normal light. Here you can also see the moon shining through the windows. Now we go up to the attic. There are many spider webs, and other different things. Uh, it's a bit, yeah, some random stuff thrown together. But maybe you want to keep some stuff you collected over the years, like those uh, grave crosses. Uh, this big thing over here, and this one is like kind of the heart of the house, like from Monster House. The movie. Ah, oh, it's pulsating. Hmm. Wait a second. I put down four of those coffins. Hmm. Where's the last one? Maybe up here? What the heck? What are you doing here? Wait, is someone inside? Meroth, what the heck? What are you doing in here? You are hungover and you want to have some rest? Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll let him sleep for now. Poor Meroth. Yeah, that's already it for the... Oh, here are some more pipes. That's already it for the Haunted Mansion tour. Or the Phantom Manor tour. I hope you enjoyed this this little tour of this house. Wait, you're not a black cat. Doesn't fit the style of this house. Come on and get blacky. Animals really do listen to me. Wait, I almost forgot. Some of you may wonder what this thing is doing over there. So you want to fly over here? Land there. And that's from where I took my picture. So you want to enter camera mode. At character display, hide yourself. Well, maybe also this animal over there. And then you want to zoom in, but you'll notice that you can't zoom in any further. So what you want to do is go sideways with the camera, then you can get past this point, then turn the camera back, and now you zoom out. So that's the way I did it. Then you just adjust everything, so it looks fine. And then you'll change the filter to black and white. And that's what it looks like. Ah, a real haunted house. Yeah, but if you like this build and this tour, please consider giving it a like. You'll help me, I'll help you. Uh, wh wait, I didn't help you in this one. Then you just help me. <laughs> it would be really appreciated. But I hope you have a really great and spooky night. Ooh. And I'll see you in the next video. So, see you soon. Bye.
待って。